Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Restored Roman Empire, working on uh, restoring our borders to uh, the uh, their original extent. Um, I was thinking in between episodes, uh, we do have Cassus Belli on the Talibids and, of course, the Abbasids. Uh, however, um... We are kind of in a uh, position where um, I'm old, I'm, I'm having some money issues. I'm just not gaining very much. Um, not exactly sure why, maybe this will uh, change once the month ticks over. Uh, I have popped up uh, to half reinforcement speed for retinues. I'm going to buy some more because uh, we've got a massive amount of retinue cap and we really do need to get that uh, built up a bit more. Uh, but right now, we are also trying to see the realm prosper. Uh, I think that it was, I mainly took that just to take it kind of thing, as opposed to any particular reason. Um, so I think that we're going to let things uh, cool down a little bit. Um, you know, see what we can do about uh, improving the realm a bit, that sort of thing. We don't need to go to war. Uh, plus, it's possible that... Well, no, you're only 32, so I'm not going to get that back anytime soon. Um, I also think that I should turn off auto-stop plotters. Uh, just so that we can see who we can uh, start imprisoning. Uh, there's no one in... No one's significant that we could stop right now, but, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and just send that out so that we can get that. Alright, let me go ahead and, uh, do that. So, we've got our retinue. It's, uh... It's fairly depleted right now. Um, but yeah, we want to, we want to buy some more, uh, but I'm going to let our, our money tick up, see what we're, we're making once, uh, the, the retinue reinforcement comes back. Any other people that I can, uh, ransom? There are. Is there anyone that, uh, yeah, I'll take your 4.2 gold, why not? Anyone that I don't want to uh, ransom. Not exactly sure why I have the Ecumenical Patriarch imprisoned, but um, I'll take his money. You've usurped West Fri Friesland. Is it Friesland or Friesland? I don't know. You've usurped a temple, that's all fine. Okay, Ecumenical Patriarch has, uh, ransomed himself. Uh, a trade post. Um, so this one is mine for now. Let's go ahead and build a fort here. Just to, uh, give it some protection. We do have a salt mine, which is trade route wealth plus five. Uh, plus 0.01 military technology points, uh, it's a bit of prestige, trade value plus 60. Right now, this thing is making 7.47 gold. I don't think you can improve the gold, uh, the salt mine any further, but, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where is the other one? There's that one up there. Is there one over here? No. Okay, well, there is one that can appear there. That can be built there. So we'll keep that in mind as well. Could push in here. Um, but again, we don't really need to. There's a revolt down there. That's fine. 
accept paying the ransom. So I really don't know why I was not able to uh, take this guy's uh, um, county. He's highly suspicious, which is, yeah, you know. Uh, daughter was born. All right, you are of the bloodline of Nile. All right. Actually, rather, they have a son, so I can do a matrilineal marriage. My guest, Caesar Emilius, has finally arrived. I've been looking forward to the two of us getting together to, and review the work of each other. There is still some time before nightfall, however. I have a few suggestions on how we could spend the time. Have you seen my observatory? Go ahead and do that. What exactly is going on? I don't know why I'm getting alerted to this stuff, but uh, whatever. Uh, so there is a Venice trade post here. So it is going to be improving our our money. I guess since uh, the Cataphract Training Ground is no longer applying, I could do the Field of Mars, which is Pikeman. It's a little bit disappointing. Mmm, universities could be good. Actually, universities would be better over here. Yeah, I'm going to spend the money on a university here, so we get more, uh... tech spread into our, uh, home county. Our capital county now. No disease, at least. Uh, I led Kaiser Emilius to the observatory and waited for his reaction when we stepped inside. At first, he only looked around. After a while, he asked a few simple questions, but I got the feeling that it was not very impressive. Oh well. We are here to study, after all. Ooh. The night is almost upon us, and the field of... S and the first stars are finally making themselves visible in the sky outside. I should tell Kaiser Emilius that it is time. Time to see if we can uncover new secrets. We should get ready. News from China. The Pale Rider is done reaping his terrible harvest in China, and the devastating plague appears to have receded. Things are returning to normal, and the Middle Kingdom seems stable. Interesting. After several hours studying the stars, I saw it, a sphere moving slowly across the sky with a long tail behind it. I called for Kaiser Emilius to get his attention. We both marveled at the beauty of it for a while. It is clearly something... there's... Uh, it is clearly something divine about it, huh? Emilius said, after a moment of silence. I could only nod my head in agreement. It makes us seem so small. Gain 30 military, economic, and cultural technology points, 25 piety, and chance to gain humble, which is okay, because I, I don't have that, and I don't have proud, and I did not get it. After spending tonight together with Kaiser Emilius, I feel like we have become quite close. We seem to complement each other perfectly, and the both of us are having a really good time. I've gained a new friend. Raiders over there in Balanjar. Uh, while carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society, I've met Neophyte Adrianos on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he is spreading lies behind my back to damage my reputation. Well, I mean, he is orthodox. I would confront him. Dawn is upon us as the first light spreads to the horizon, appears on the horizon. I think we can agree that the night was an immense success. We took plenty of notes and learned a thing or two. Maybe we will even have an opportunity to continue our combined research in the future. Let us do this again sometime. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm actually not gaining, t uh, losing too much money. The epidemic has not spread to Rome. 
That is a pretty big smallpox epidemic, though. Let's say. Uh, no, I have no interest in observing the sky. I, I just did. It is finished. I have produced an entirely average paper on the sun. I will send it out at once. My wife, Ita, is pregnant. Excellent. Excellent. You have endorsed my paper. Oh, wow. That is a big small box epidemic. Jeez. Excellent. Excellent. Looks like it's uh, beginning to abate up there. Thank you. Thank you. Dithmar Shen has converted to the Hellenic faith. Where is my... Where are you? All right, you're uh, you're all the way up there. I wonder if he's enjoying uh, the islands. Okay. To my liege, the righteous Augustus Bartholomaios, it has not escaped me that several of your commanders lack formal training in military tactics. I would offer my I would like to offer my services. Hmm. Let's see. They will all gain Mountain Expert. He has Smallpox, so he may die. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, do that. Child lacks an education focus. This kid is strong. But uh, we will go for stewardship. Two good, one bad. It's okay. Uh, my reputation is ruined. You've usurped a, a county. Let's see, we could hold a grand debate. I think we'll do that. Why not? Also, I should mark these. There we go. A uh, son was born to my heir. Uh, actually, it looks like we're going to have two. We do have bloodlines. Duty education. Alright, so... Also has the blood of Caradog. So that's good. Uh, that's still only one... Um, of the historical bloodlines, though, we're, we're, it's gonna may take a few uh, generations to get the uh, <coughs> history in our in the blood um, achievement. Uh, but uh, monthly prestige, morale, defense, personal combat skill is good. Welsh opinion doesn't really matter. Oops. And you have a brother who is slow. So one was quick, one is slow. Lovely. Okay. And there I go dying. I have a new heir. I will play as uh, Venantius Isaros. Does he have... Uh, he does not have... Oh, no, he does have Caradog. Okay. Uh, Augustus Bartholomaios feasts with the gods at age 67. He died a natural death. Known as an inspired and insightful poet, Bartholomaios delighted many in his court with his moving verses, all about burning the churches of, of Rome. Augustus Aemilius, being both thrifty and frugal, the realm will surely prosper under his rule. Long live Augustus Aemilius. As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, court physician Constans approaches you with an idea. My Pontifex Maximus, I know you're dead, but if you were to institute a system of provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, they are sure to be more productive. Um, nice! Lose one gold! Alright, new character has fulfilled an ambition to gain a title. All right, so let's go do the things. Uh, this guy is a commander, so I don't want him to be in. He is a commander. He is a commander. 
He is not... Is this gonna is this gonna mean that I uh, discharged a? I, I think it is. All right. Um, you're a 16, so that's okay. A spy master. Let's get you back there. Let's go ahead and study technology here. Not sure how great that will be, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Um, don't really want to lead armies. I have a secret religion. Alright, I am an initiate, but I am going to leave that. Let's go ahead and renounce the uh, secret faith. Okay, um... We definitely need a uh, rulership, so let's go for that. Uh, make a friend, become exalted amongst men, see the realm prosper, groom an heir. I think that I would... It's five years. Let's go ahead and try to uh, make a friend first. Uh, and I am going to temporarily leave the, uh, the Hermetic Society. I'll be unable to join another society for a period of 90 days. That's okay. Need to nominate a successor. <coughs> mm, sorry. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see who we've got. Um, need to go for people ideally who are born in the purple, uh, which is basically just women right now. It seems like. Well, there is you, but you're not all that great. Um, Sagittarius is uh, Marshall plus one, diplomacy plus one, so that's not bad. All right, so you had Caradog. I have... I do not have Caradog, so... Hmm. And your plot, please. I can dedicate a temple. Let's go ahead and first set this as the crown focus. Um, let's see, we've got a shrine to Pluto here. We've got a shrine to Minerva there. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, dedicate something here. Nope. Yeah, it's because this guy is, uh, that. Alright, well, he's, he's getting money and spending it and stuff like that, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I can also compose a book. 800 gold. Let's wait on that until uh, I'm back in the Hermetic Society. Uh, what other temples can we dedicate? Are you, uh, you guys? Yeah, you are. <coughs> How about we uh, 
We dedicate this one. One of the Cronid Brothers. Let's go with Pluto. Yeah, I want that, uh... I definitely want that, uh, um... Stewardship. Alright, I think that we are going to award honorary title of Despot to you. And successor nomination is going to be the Quick Child. Uh, let's see, Leo, Marshall plus one, Prestige 0 0.05, Piety minus 0 0.01. Same trait opinion minus 5 and opposite trait opinion minus 20. Interesting. Let's see, Scorpio is Intrigue plus 1. Virgo is Stewardship plus 1. Hmm. Yep, that's going to be you. So we're not going to have our kid win this for a little while, I think. Uh, we've got uh, base 5, prestigious 195, and a good orator plus 10. So that's good. We need to uh, keep uh, an eye on making sure that uh, we're not allowed, we're not getting uh, um, any of the uh, penalties. Um... Let's see, if I do that, let's see, Council Consideration. No, that would not happen. Alright, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait on that. Maybe once the Council is no longer discontent. I can imprison Venice, actually. He's acted, acted dishonorably, and he has, uh, he's done that. All right. Uh, in addition, uh, let's look for the Varangian Guard. I have not been using my sway very much, so I should probably do that. Actually, I want to vassal, so there we go. Uh, opinion of predecessor is pretty substantial. I'm not even sure what that number is. Minus 411, I think. He's also zealous. Okay. You are the current ruler of the glorious Roman Empire. May your reign be a prosperous one. Hail, Kaiser. All right, so we get uh, monthly prestige 0.5, vassal opinion plus 10. Very nice. Um, I don't really mind keeping them around. Do that. All right, so we are now at war against Venice. I think we may end up uh, just destroying Venice. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and raise up some uh, vassal ships. I'll just use my uh, retinue for this, I think. Although he does have a lot of money to hire uh, mercenaries. I suppose I should check to see what uh, what other things I have plot-wise. There we go. Grant some you.
Okay, she has now fled. That's fine. Ransom you. So you can get some extra cash out of all this. Who else? Uh, you are over there. Okay, you've inherited that. That's fine. You've inherited, you've uh, fled, that is fine. You've fled, that is fine. Were you under, you are under Trebizond. There we go. It's a shame I can't uh, revoke the stuff that's uh, under other people. Yeah, there's no uh, revoke option. Ransom you. Uh, now you. Thank you. This is not a bad way to get money, uh, actually. <laughs> ah, since we have evidence that they're a leader of a plot, no one will object. Oh no, you fled! Who, uh, who inherited your thing? You did. You fled. No current ambition, UI missing text. Apparently I was plotting something. <laughs> uh, that's, that's wonderful. And there's a new, uh, a new family because they have fled. Did have a lot of money though. All right, let's go ahead and ransom you. And now you. You don't have a whole lot of money. I cannot imprison you. Ah, because you're under Venice, right. Alright, let's go ahead and send that off. Um, and in terms of my plots, uh, I was trying to murder Aquitaine. So I want to get back to doing that. Only 120%, which is a shame, but we'll go ahead and uh, do that. All right. I have a new heir. People are voting for him. I guess it's okay, although he is highly suspicious. Uh, actually, it's not okay because that's a matrilineal marriage. Oh, well. Yeah. 
son was born to a uh, courtier. All right, so you have you have the Parthian blood, you've got the blood of Caradog, Merovingian blood, and the Sly blood. Oh wow! Oh wow! That is that is good. Now if only now if they would have a child, that would be fantastic. I mean, uh, not a child, a daughter. Monies. And a daughter was born to you with the blood of Bagrat. Okay. That is excellent. Alright, let's see how many uh, troops they actually have. Okay, he has hired more. In that case, come home. Uh, I think that a... Oh, I've already raised up the, uh, the fleets, that's right. All right. All right, I'm going to need uh, some of these other ships to uh, go pick up uh, other other people. Okay, they seem to be getting ready to land. Why is there an independent barony here? We'll have to take care of that uh, shortly. Also, child lacks an education focus. Let's go with uh, duty. You do not have any bloodlines. Let's see, Libra is intrigue minus one and stewardship plus one. Kind of like that. Well, I mean, intrigue minus one isn't great. All right, so we'll get uh, that fleet up there. Um, let's see, we got France here, so we can go ahead and bring you down this way. See what we can do about uh, fighting them off. Uh, and when we come back next time, we will go ahead and uh, actually take Venice here. He will be a traitor. We'll be able to... Um, uh, hopefully get rid of him, although with all of this, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. We'll see what we can do, though. Anyway, that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.